Korea celebrated the official birthday of Buddha on Friday with throngs of people commemorating the occasion at the more than 20,000 temples across the country. Our cultural correspondent Park Ji Won has some of the highlights from one of the events. Some 5,000 people were in attendance on Friday for an hour-long ceremony at Choge Temple in central Seoul. The highlight of the service was the message of celebration delivered by the Venerable Chasin, head of the Joge Order of Korean Buddhism, the country's largest Buddhist sect. He emphasized compassion for all living things, which was one of the Buddha's key teachings. I pray that we are able to rid ourselves of greed and hatred, put an end to all forms of prejudice and discrimination, and be mindful. I pray that everyone can join the way to peace and happiness through solidarity and cooperation. President Park Geun-hye also delivered a message of peace and healing read by the nation's cultural minister Liu Jin-ryong. The ceremony continued for about an hour until 11 a.m., and various festivities followed. Buddhism was first introduced to Korea in the 4th century, about 800 years after the death of Buddha. Only about 22 percent of Koreans are Buddhist now, but Korea still preserves its rich heritage of Buddhist culture. I'm not a Buddhist, but I came here because it's Buddha's birthday. The decorations are really pretty. I pray that Korea becomes a better country with a stronger economy. The ceremony was beautiful. Uh, this is my first time seeing the, a Buddhist ceremony before. Um, I'm just here with my family who are visiting me. Even after some 2,500 years, people find that Buddha's teachings are still relevant. Buddha taught us that we should live in peace by first reconciling our inner struggles and then achieving harmony with those we once hated or discriminated against. Korea is one of many Asian countries that celebrate Buddha's birth every year. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.